Hey, you guys. It's almost good night, isn't it? But, uh, yeah. I'm back, y'all. I wanted to touch a subject, and I know it's kind of sensitive to a lot of us, you know, but I had to touch this subject right here. Um, I have touched the subject in one of my Facebook stories, but it's been a couple of years. So, um, do what, do what, do what I need for y'all to do. Y'all know school start August the 1st, right? Okay. I know a lot of y'all kids going to camp and stuff now. I know a lot of y'all kids going to like the Bible study at the church and stuff like that. So, I, I did, I did, I did want to touch, I did want to touch bases with something. You know what I'm saying? I did want to touch bases on y'all about something. So, When the school year started, please, please, I'm, I'm, I'm talking to the ones that's on the Section 8 program, on the housing program, you know, on, on, on the, uh, you know, all that type of shit right there, governmental systems. I'm talking to y'all. Y'all go pick up y'all kids, women. I'm going to get on y'all men too. But women, when y'all be dropping off and picking up y'all kids, stop wearing your bonnets. Stop getting out the car, going in school with them bonnets on, with them pajama pants on, and with them thought flops on. You know them thought flops. Them, them furry flops, flip flops, yeah. You know, um, y'all need to stop doing that shit right there. Now, let me tell you something about me wearing them. Um, I wear them in the house because they're supposed to be worn in the house. But if I'm somewhere and I'm like, I'm driving or something, my feet hurt or something, cause it do happen to a lot of us. I slip them on. I have them in the car or something. You feel what I'm saying? But I'm not finna go in an establishment with them motherfuckers on. Else dress up, it, it go with my outfit. No, I'm not gonna do that. And when y'all be going up to the school and y'all be doing it, y'all be embarrassing y'all kids. Y'all just don't know. Y'all keep, let me tell you something. Y'all got them goddamn pajama pants on. Y'all booty jiggling. Half of y'all don't have on no panties or no thongs or nothing to hold all of that posterior together. So it's jiggling. And for the ones that don't know what posterior is, because you don't have sense enough to expand your vocabulary, posterior. It's your ass, your butt, your buttocks. That's what that is. So, you going in the school and your booty jiggling. You know how you, when them kids see that that's Rona mama, they going to fuck with Rona all day. They going to fuck with Rona to the teacher tell them to stop fucking with Rona. Got down. Rona going to damn near feel bad all day. Don't want to come to school tomorrow. All of that. And then, most of y'all, y'all got hell. So, what the fuck you put on a bunny for? And, and some dude, he gonna say in my um, one of my Facebook stories, he gonna say, well, wearing a wig is just like wearing um, bunnies. No, the fuck is not. I would rather wear a wig than to put on a bunny going up to the school. Going inside the school. If that's the case, if you gonna wear the bunny, go on and get that wrap. You know them big wraps that we be wearing, and you all, uh, it got a big. What you what what you call it? Ball. You can wear it anywhere around your head. You know you can wrap your hair in different ways. You know what I'm saying? It's in 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 the gold show outfit for real. 
other than a bunny. Y'all be going out buying all them blanks with all them different colors and shit to go with an outfit. Not an outfit in the house. Now, I understand I understand that because you know what the bunny for in the house. So, we ain't even got to go through all that. You know what I'm saying? But, um, it's okay to match up with the look, your little attire that you got on going on in the house. You know what I'm saying? Because nine times out of ten, you don't want to mess up your, your hair or whatever you got going on. So, when you laying down and sleep. So, you put your bunny on. That's understandable. But when you going up to that school, you embarrassing them kids. You embarrassing them kids with them bunnies on. And more with them pajama, them pajama pants on and your booty jibbing. Just you know that. And, 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 and for y'all dudes, y'all be... And, and for the studs, too. For the studs, too. For the studs, too. When you be wearing your pants down and um the the, the 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 kids they see that when you come into school and you come to a program or something or you can't eat lunch with your kids because I have I had work in Atlanta Public School. I was the uh, cafeteria uh monitor. So parents used to come in there and sit down and eat lunch with the kids. I have uh, sat down and ate lunch with my kids several times and keep in mind I got five so they was in five different grades and five different, different schedules to eat lunch but I made it happen so with that being said I, I already know what it is but when y'all come and y'all pants be down damn near to your butthole and I want to tell you, the, you about that the majority of y'all Y'all underwear don't be clean. I'm just telling you, bro. So, and then the kids, they be talking about y'all. And they be fucking with y'all kids, man. You feel what I'm saying? And they be talking about Ron and Mama and, and Cassandra Daddy. They do. They do be doing it. And, and them teachers, they be talking about y'all too. Y'all just don't know it, but they do it, man. You don't, y'all need to cut that shit out. That shit is embarrassing to your kids. Ask your motherfucking kids. Ask your kids. You know, you don't even got the little girls. I be saying the little girls when I be driving around and shit. Whatever I'm doing out there in the Atlanta streets. When I'm driving around and shit, I be seeing them little girls out there with them bunnies on. They might be walking to the store. They be having on them thought flops too. And I can just imagine how they mama look. I can just imagine. Man, you see my... Man, I don't talk... I, I be telling my children, I be like, you don't know who you gonna see when you step outside your house. You know, when you in your house, you, you dress like the fuck you, you comfortable. That's your home. That's, that's, that's your residence. That's where you lay your head. That's where you pay all your bills. And, and yeah, so, so that's where you live. You feel what I'm saying? So, with that being said, you, you do whatever the fuck you want to do in your house. You, you put on a bunny. You want to say it, but I, I, I want to say this. Make it in the house only. And then once you get used to not wearing the bunny out and about, you ain't gonna wanna do it no more, so yeah, I would rather put on a hat. And and y'all, 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 and a lot of us have big posteriors. You know what I'm saying? So 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 stop wearing them got and, and put on some panties. Stop wearing them pajama pants up to the school. Y'all start, and y'all men, y'all done started doing it. Man, I was in the grocery store just yesterday. Dude had on his pajama pants and his, pajama, his house shoes. And I keep telling y'all, house shoes are made for the house. Ain't no let me run to the store, man. Y'all got them Crocs. Run to the store in them Crocs. Everybody got a pair of Crocs they can throw on. Or some flip flops. 
flip flops, you know, the flip flops where you stick your toe between them kind of flip flop, you know, them kind. And the girls, the, the summertime, you got your sandals, you can just throw your feet in. You got, got like, like, what are we doing? That jump be crazy, man. Y'all be up to the school. Y'all be out and about, you know. And it'll look good if you in the house. Don't get me wrong. Some of y'all have on some cute little pajama sets and shit. But it ain't pajama day at the school, bruh. They, they, they gonna send a letter out or an email when it's the pajama day at the school. So, so don't be wearing your pajamas up to the school, man. I'm telling y'all, y'all embarrassing y'all kid, man. I don't work in school. I'm telling you. What it is, you don't believe me? Come on, come on. I, I, man, you. You embarrassing your kids. That's all I want to tell y'all. That's all I want to tell y'all. And then some of y'all kids, they think that some, just a pinch of y'all kids, they ain't got so used to y'all just ordinary everyday looking and dressing like that with a bunny on your head pajama pad, thought flops walking around, not only in the house, but you walking around the school, you walk to you, you going to the school, you going to the store, you know I wouldn't be surprised if y'all hold be in an interview with them got them thought flops on I wouldn't be surprised. A job interview. Uh, uh, an interview to get a loan. For your first house. Y'all, y'all motherfuckers, y'all are walking in that beach with... with with them pants down, with them thought flops on, with a bunny on. I don't care how much money you got. You present yourself how you supposed to present yourself. Every place that you go, it's a different way to present yourself. If you going to a bachelorette party, you know everybody probably dressing alike. If you going to a wedding, you know it's formal. If you going to a dance, you know it's semi-form. If you going to a basketball game, nine times out of ten, we both wearing tennis shoes. And just you just want to sit on the front row and be cute and have on your stilettos and be motherfucking uncomfortable for the whole night. Because your, your feet saying, shh, no told you. Yo, you going to the pole. You put on some pole attire where you can move around going through that grass and all that type of shit like that. Yo. So, so, so. Some of y'all, y'all got to do better than what y'all doing. Y'all be wearing the cute little outfit. Throw on one of them little cute little outfits. Women. And you men throw on an ensemble. You know. Y'all got the little nice t-shirt to mix next to gray sweat pants. <laughs> Yeah. And then you men, y'all stop trying to dress like women. Y'all everybody outside with pajama pants on and the goddamn flip, I mean, um, house shoes. Y'all got to do better than what y'all doing. And y'all be representing y'all kids. Y'all don't want to be going in school like that. And then you got to go in the elementary school like that. You in the middle school like that. It going to get worse for them in the middle school. Man, they going to be talking about their parents like a dog when they see them goddamn parents. Man, that's your mama, man. They going to go in the goddamn... <laughs> So I just can't, I just want to say that. I just want to say that. And them, and them kids be feeling bad about it. And sometimes them kids don't know how to come and talk to y'all about it. You know what I'm saying? But y'all adults, y'all should know better. You know, you know got there well. You you ain't want your mama coming up to the school looking like this. I wouldn't know for. Y'all be going up to the school with boot shorts and everything on. Y'all, y'all, y'all. Why? And that's how the fuck they be knowing where you come from. 
Because they know a motherfucker they getting off a job. They not coming to the school like that. They either got on their um, work uniform. Or you know they dress presentable. It ain't nothing to throw on a little two-piece sweatsuit. Or a little jogging suit. Or you know the little outfits that the, the girls be wearing. And the dudes, y'all be wearing the jogging suits. And, and the like nice white t-shirts. Ain't nothing wrong with that. You dropping your kids off and you picking your kids up. But when it's time to go to a program, put some clothes on. Be presentable. You want them kids to wear their uniform every day. Like I told that um, principal down there at LP Mile. Bitch, I ain't never seen you in a uniform. But you want them kids to wear their uniform every day. I never saw you in khaki pants and a collared shirt. I saw you with a t-shirt that say LP Mines Elementary School. But like, I have saw you as if you was coming from the club. With your thigh high boots on. Who does that? See you, and that. You don't open up your mouth. Oh, fucking don't know. But, it, 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 it. So, 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 I don't think that was presentable with what you want them kids to wear their uniform every day. And it's a purpose for the uniform. It's a purpose for the uniform and for the ones that I always talk about. Well, my child ain't wearing no uniform. Your child gonna be the one at the job that they gonna do what the fuck they want to do. And they gonna be the one that get fired. Because they don't want to wear their uniform every day. We even in the bank, you got to dress up a bank teller, nice shoes, collared shirt, button downs, nice slacks, ties, blazers, skirts, dresses, heels, motherfucking stockings and sheets. So, 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 it would, if you, go, if you got a job where you got them going and, and you training people, you know, you got to have on your workout clothes and your workout tennis shoes, you know, that's the people that's coming to pick up their kids. They know that they work every day because they're presentable. But y'all, y'all get up from sleep all day and run up there and pick up your kids with cold in your eyes and everything. Boobas in your nose, you know, everything. Ain't brush your teeth, ain't wash your face, just jumped up with them same pajama pants that you been laying in the bed with, playing with that nigga all morning because you was out work today. If you was working, because half of y'all don't work, y'all, y'all play, you know, you ain't got to do them 20 hours of work on the program. So, and some of y'all, that's what all y'all do. For the whole motherfucking week, it's 20 hours. But anyway, getting back to y'all going up to that school. Don't do that shit this year. And school start early, August the 1st. While y'all be getting y'all kids school clothes, it's time to start getting them now. They cheap now, I'm telling you. It's time to get them now. But while y'all getting y'all kids some school clothes, go and throw you a couple jogging suits in that motherfucker. If you have to wear that same gray or that same blue or black jogging suit every time you go up to that school, long as it's clean and it's presentable. Ain't nobody gonna have nothing to say. But keep wearing them pajama pants and them motherfucking uh, bunnies in every color. It motherfucking me. See what y'all be doing here. Y'all be looking at these motherfuckers on YouTube and Facebook and Instagram and Snapchat. Y'all be tweeting out. Y'all be on Google and, and everything. You know what I'm saying? And y'all be looking at these different motherfuckers. Let me tell you something. Some of these folks be putting on for the city. I be goddamn. Y'all must don't know how y'all look in the store. God damn it, if it's a hundred women in the store, goddamn 75 of them got on 
motherfucking bunnies. Do you know how you y'all might well go on and join the motherfucking bunny guy? God damn it. The fuck? I be telling my kids, I said, man, y'all can ain't no telling who you might see. You just run into the store. Just running up to the common store. Or just, you think you early in the morning. And I do it all the time. I think I'm early in the morning getting in and getting out. And I end up seeing somebody who I know they earlier than me, goddamn. You feel what I'm saying? So, you, 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 if you out here in these streets putting your hustle down or you're working every day, people see you. So, I tell my children, like I'm telling you. You ain't gonna, you ain't gonna catch me, but you ain't gonna catch me outside looking crazy. The fuck you time at? I'm gonna put on a little two piece before I got there. Be out here looking crazy. You best believe it. You, 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 you. you. You don't know who you can meet out here in these streets while you at the grocery store and against the gas at the gas station, all of that. You don't know. So 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 look presentable. You ain't got to get dressed up and put on a pound of makeup and a whole lot of cologne and shit, y'all. Just look presentable. And 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 then and then you gonna automatically smell good cause your bae's right. <laughs> but I don't know the way y'all motherfuckers be looking it up and jump past and some of y'all niggas y'all got their draw be fucked up you can see the shit through them motherfuckers y'all know it tell them to y'all know it don't sometimes y'all want to be grunt going to them motherfuckers and say sir did you wash your ass this boy <laughs> cause from what I see I know you ain't wash your ass bro but, uh, yeah, I just want to let y'all know that and let y'all know school start August 1st. So, go and get y'all shit together as well as you getting these kids shit together. And, and just know, I'm going to come back with another video. Go on and like this video and make sure you hit the notification button so you'll know every time I post a video, baby. Because I'm coming back with some stuff I got from Dollar General today. But you ain't even going to believe how much I paid for it. So, um, make sure you tell your friends to subscribe, share the video, go on and like it though. Like the video and let these people know you like it too, cause you, do you know it's some people in India liking it? So, why well, shit, you like me, I like you, let's do it, peace.